me send out a tweet real quick and then we will get going. Okay. So the plan for today is to finish exploring the areas we need to explore that we haven't done yet. So I think I need to go over here to the southern Northreach Wilds and then up to actual uh, Northreach. And then I have the East Duskborough Trail and then Duskborough and then, you know, whatever we may find in those little surrounding areas. And then once we're done with that, uh, it's off to the bonus dungeons, um, or the side dungeons, whatever you want to call them. And then I want to try my hand again at the uh, hidden job bosses. So I didn't do a whole lot of research on the hidden job bosses. I thought about it, but I figured it might be more fun to, to you know, try and figure it out myself. So we will see. But I did do research on more like party strategies and uh, things I can do that might help out when the time comes. Make sure everyone is equipped up. Okay. And I still have my notes from yesterday when we fought, uh, I mean, I, we fought three of them. And the notes I took on those three bosses, I still have them, so. Hopefully we can get enough of the little, uh, accessories to just nullify a lot of the stats resistances. Uh, the only thing I did really look at is, um, apparently the easiest boss is the Rune Lord. The one that we were doing really well against, still 50%. But I've also heard that the Sorcerer is extremely easy too, especially if you use a certain uh, party setup. Uh, a, a, a certain strategy kind of got spoiled to me. Um, that I may or may not try. So, but we'll see. Looks like we had another Maw of the Ice Dragon. Okay, so it's a level 45 dungeon. Okay, let's go ahead and get it on our map here. But I've also heard that it's it's a it's a good idea to unlock the sorcerer because it can make the other fights a lot more simple. So there's a few things I want to try. I still also want to go back to the war master with a uh, physical tank setup, or a, not physical tank, a, a evasion tank setup, and see if that doesn't help survival. I only have one weakness. Let my arrow fly in true. It's an axe, okay. The battle is truly joy. Oh, I don't really have an axe on Therian, so I can't do that. So something I, I did learn in strategies that people were um, saying to do is uh, to use this move right here, leg hold trap. Now I always thought this seemed like just like a, not a very good move, but what it does when you use it on the enemy, it makes them attack last next turn. So if you look at the top up uh, the screen up there on the next turn, it says next turn, you see the turn order the guys are coming in. And this particular monster here is supposed to come right after haunt it, but if I were to use leg hold trap on it, it'll come at the very end of the turn. And the reason this is supposedly very good is because it allows you to manipulate turns, especially in boss fights. In particular, the <laughs> hidden job bosses. It allows you to basically 
you know, for instance, using the War Master. Uh, midway through the fight, she starts attacking three times. You know, she has three actions. But it allows you to make sure that you can, like, either break her in time before she's able to attack by, um, you know, making sure that you attack, you get all your uh, actions in before she can act. On the other hand... <clears throat> On the other hand, it can also allow you to, uh, you know, heal up and get ready to take whatever is going to be incoming. Um, so just it allows you to more easily manipulate the fight. So that's something I want to try. Uh, another move I've been neglecting to use, uh, mainly because I've been wanting to collect money, is um, the merchants. Hired help. Now, this has a number of things. I'll, I'll kind of go into what it, what they are when we um, get into another fight here. Uh, but it has a number of very useful abilities that I haven't been using. That I may try to make use of if necessary to beat the uh, hidden bosses. Okay, so now I'll be able to show you. Well, I'll show you and then we'll be running from this. Because I don't really want to fight these things. Uh, so the merchant skill here, if you go to hired help, he allows you to pay money to get this. And apparently this mercenary here says, um, as you can see, unleash a sword attack on all foes and grant increased physical defense to all allies. So against like the rune master or the war master, for just 150 leaves, I can buff my party and the other one that was supposed to be really good is this one right here it's a sword attack on all foes and I think it's like four to five hits on a sword attack and I mean it cost 30,000 leaves so it's kind of expensive but uh, it can deal a lot of damage so I've been neglecting to use these but might have to make, especially the the mercenary, the 150 leaves one. We're definitely gonna be making use of that because that's that's a trivial amount of of leaves to use for what the buff it gives. So what you can do is like you can boost it and get get it for multiple turns, and that can help to keep my party members alive. Is the idea so. Uh, depending on how damage works or how, how damage uh, my DPS is, I may make use of the 30k merchant summon to dish out a lot of damage if need be. Let's uh, check out. Don't need to heal. I want to check out what we can buy here, though. Where is the shop? There it is. Do we have anything to sell? We do not. Okay. Um. That's really good. That's actually very good. Cost, but I don't want to buy anything like this just yet until we go through all the bonus dungeons. What well, is an upgrade? It's a straight upgrade for Therian. That's a huge upgrade. I almost want to buy it just now, even though I just said that, because the speed gets a hundred extra speed from that. Hmm. Silent bandana, silent cape, uh, critical bracelet, okay. Well, I'm going to hold off on that for now. I'm mostly looking for defensive buffs and stuff. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come over here to Victor's Hollow, and then we're going to move up to East Duskborough Trail and go that way. Now, I know when we get up here, there's going to be a shrine on that new area. It's going to be the last shrine, the one for the sorcerer. Which I believe is going to be the first one we try to fight when we get around to it. But I want to do a couple of the bonus dungeons. At least the level 45 ones. And then maybe take on the sorcerer. After we've gained some levels. Um, and also, if need be, I may just choose a, a fourth member. Like a more, of a, a more permanent member just to get them a few more levels for the bonus dungeons. In which case we may go Kate hunting. I've, I did figure out that there's a couple areas where it's more 
beneficial to hunt Kates because they always spawn in packs of two if you fight them there. It's a good day for battle. I'll not be defeated. May the sacred flame shine forth. Sorcery. So dagger and light don't work. We'll leave him on sword for now. Let's try axe. Okay, axe works on the little tree thing. Out of my way. Sword works on those guys back there. I guess that's actually just good enough for now. Victory shall be mine. I will cut you down. So many misses recently. Well then. Let your wounds be healed. Another thing I I might want to try doing is sending all my main party members into cleric and then getting them the uh, cleric passive that allows you to overheal. I'll do my best. Because that can give you, you know, four or five K HP when you usually only have around two to three K HP on like my other party members. And, you know, that could be a, a good way to survive the AoE attacks of the secret bosses. It's just a matter of whether I want to spend that much points to get that. I gotta see how many is required for it. I was hoping you would do more than that, Linde. Oh, well. I'll do my other. Here I go. May the sacred flame shine forth. Curse witchery. Letting my arrow fly in truth. I'll do my best. Let me heal you. My turn. Let's do this. Time to steal the show. Battle is truly joy. Finally, man, this thing's had a bunch of HP. Battle, I grow stronger. 
Uh, but the move I was talking about is, um... Oh, it's saving grace, isn't it? It's the very last one. You have to put almost the max points. Okay, that might be difficult to do. Let's go up top first. Uh, but that saving grace, you can... It allows you to overheal, basically put a, a shield, in a sense, on people, on your party. Uh, the other really good thing that it, it does when you, well, the other thing you can do with that is if you're reviving a character, if you use the highest the level revive fight. item, uh, this one, the Olive of Life L, the revive with not just full HP, they'll actually revive with uh, 9,999 HP. Out of my way. Try this. I'll do my best. May the sacred flame shine forth. Victory shall be mine. I think these things may be weak against Axe. That seems to be a trend. Yeah, okay. So Axe and then probably two elements, unless one of the weaknesses is a staff, which we're not going to be figuring that out. Second serving can be so good sometimes. How about you? <laughs> Let in my arrow. <laughs> This on our map here. We'll be back in here later. Now let's go unlock the town. Looks like there's something else on the map. Oh no, it's just the town. Okay. Let's go to the town, check what they have for sale, and then we'll figure out which bonus dungeon we want to do first. Oh, so did I read that right? Was that only level 45 for that particular? Shrine? The other ones have all been 50. So maybe that's the first one they actually intend you to go to. This is the beginning of your end. Victory shall be mine. Come, if you dare. <laughs> my turn. 
Out of my way. Try this. Out of my way. How about you? I'll do my best. Huh? Let your wounds be healed. Oh yeah, another combination I thought of. So, getting back to the merchant skill, so with the hired help, if you use this veteran soldier, it costs 30k, but if you have the buff from the cleric, her divine skill, which allows you to use a move twice, you'll still use that move twice, but it'll still only cost you 30k gold, or leaves. So, and that's another way to get out some really good damage. To the point that when I'm actually doing damage with Therian, uh, when he's as a merchant, uh, it's probably better damage, or almost certainly better damage, than using his divine skill. Where's the nearest tavern? Whoa, is there another dungeon down here? Nice. Moldering ruins. Okay. That was level 45, so let's go ahead and get this on the map. I, mean, I thought earlier that I saw something, but then I was like, maybe it's just the town. I guess not. We are going to have a lot of side dungeons to go through. That's for sure. I need to figure out how to get that chest right there. I guess there's going to be a path down this way. Here we go. It was right there. Okay, we're going to rest up. And I guess since we're right there by the Moldering Ruins, that that's where we'll go first. Oh, that's a dungeon, probably for the story. Uh, here's the shop.
That's good. Save, and we'll go to that dungeon. Oh. Chests. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to that dungeon. I want to check learning skills. So I can easily learn... Saving Grace on Ulbrich and Therian, and I already have it on Ophelia. The issue is going to be learning it on um, my other characters, unfortunately. But uh, that's somewhere I can have to deal with. For now, let's go do that Moldering Ruins, since it's right there. I think that's it. We don't have any level 40s, do we? Uh, let me double check. No, everything is either 45 or 50 plus for all the bonus dungeons that I that we haven't done yet. Okay, we're basically looking for levels, job points, and new gear. And obviously, money is good too, because with money we can buy new gear. This is the beginning Ooh. of your end. No. Oh, you're a chubby Kate. Oh, can I kill you? You're the highest level Kate in the game. Um, oh man, what are you weak to? I almost want to look up what Chubby Kates are weak to. If they're weak to an element. I'm sorry, I gotta look this up because I want to kill this thing really badly. So let's look this up. Uh, Octopath Traveler. Chubby Kate. Weakness. Uh, there you go. Best way to kill Chubby Kates. Use someone with Primrose. Use Hired Help with Merchant. Hmm. I'm not seeing... Oh, maybe this works. The Octopath Traveler Wiki. All I want to know is if it has a weakness. Okay, has no elemental weaknesses. Okay. So, we have the more, most light stones. Go use a light stone and hope this kills it. Have a taste of this. It did not. Okay, so it's gonna run away. Oh well. Oh wait, it didn't run? Out of my way. It didn't run. All right then. I thought for sure it would run away. Take this. Let my arrow fly in true. Try and this. Nice. Got it. I honor you. Usually they run away immediately. Oh, the job points and the experience. And the money. 
Oh, oh, oh those are nice. Now, I have heard there's a, a rare um, encounter you can get that is um, the Kate family. So, it's like it, you basically run into every single Kate at once. It's like five of them. Ooh, an 80 speed. I think I'm wearing one of those, though. Yeah. I don't think I can wear two. No. Darn it. Wonder if there's like a hundred speed accessory. Is there anything back here? No, I'm saving though after getting that. if you have a light weakness. No. Okay. Over here. What next? And you don't have a sword weakness either. The battle is truly joy. Pull up. I guess I could be checking wind, couldn't I? Miss it to me. Well then. You also check ice. Please freeze. Let my arrow fly. As well as I can check lightning and fire. Okay. That didn't work. Check wind after this. Let the hunt begin. Never mind. We'll be checking fire. The battle is true. I'm ready for you. Time to steal the show. Come in if thou darest. Let's check axe. Well then, prepare yourself. May the sacred flame shine forth. So we have bow staff. What next? Okay, bow is it. I was saying we have a bow and staff left. I'll do my but best. we found it. Let your wounds be healed. How about you? Wonder. I mean, we'll try it. Why not? Okay. I mean, yesterday I was having fantastic uh, luck with capturing beasts when it was really a low percentage. So, I mean, it's worth a try. Try again. <laughs> uh, some ties, man. Uh, we'll get rid of the vampire bat. My 
my turn now. Oh, sacred light! Out of my way. Let my arrow fly in true. Look that. With each battle, I grow stronger. Something in my eye. It's really annoying me. Hmm. You just gotta check these little back pathways because you never know when they'll lead to some secret treasure or whatnot. Let us fight with honor. The hunt beginning. Letting my arrow fly in true time. What do this? Time to steal the show. Hmm, one of them survived. The battle is truly <laughs> Nope, not for long, no. With each battle. I grow strong. Man, this is a odd bonus dungeon. It's more should I say it's more of an actual dungeon than previous ones? Ooh. What do we got here? Well, now. You don't say. I like that. It's a very good hat. Oh, I see I can go back behind here, so I'm gonna try that. Let us fight with honor. I almost want to make Therian my tank just so he goes first all the time. Out of my way. 
Out of my way. Yes. Let him yeah. I'll not be defeated. May the sacred flame shine forth. My turn. Let's do this. Time to steal the show. Coming. Victory shall be mine. I'll do my best. Let your wounds be healed. Out of my way. <laughs> Let him. My turn, huh? Oh, sacred light. Not made for such battles. Thunderstorm amulet. Okay. That will probably come in handy against the Rune Lord. This is the beginning of your end. My turn. Try this! Uh. Huh. I'll do my best. Ha. Victory shall be mine. I'm gonna gamble on pole arm for all of them. Or spear. Come. Letting my arrow fly in true. Well, oh well. I hate to uh, at least break this before Coming. I use Aper's Reckoning. Time to steal the show. Have at you. Come, did you dare? I'll do my best. Here I go. Oh well. Coming, if that. No. Sword. Figures to be sword. I 
am not made for such battles. So I think there, we haven't missed any chests. At least I'm pretty sure we haven't. At least so far, obviously. Maybe there might be some more as we move up here. Let us begin. Just want to make sure we get everything. Out of my way. Great. Uh, I was hoping this would be the one that was coming up first. That way, I could get an Aber's Reckoning on all of them while they're broken. Can't do that. I'm ready. Are you? Time to steal the show. Had to settle for two. Nice. Go ahead and heal. Coming if thou darest. The battle is truly joy. Come if you dare. Now then, out of my way. My turn. I'll do my utter. Prepare yourself. May the sacred flame shine. Not made for such battles. No boss in here. Okay. But it looks like there should be a boss, so I marked it as kind of like a question mark. Uh, in that case, where to go next? Uh, let's go to Undertow Cove. I think that's way over here. Yeah. We're going to be exploring it. I, there's not going to be a boss in here either, if I remember correctly. I guess we'll take Hornet for one more. Check something real quick. Uh, this was... yeah. Okay. And was, did we do West Stone Guard Pass as well? I believe we did. Yeah, we did. Okay, just making sure I'm crossing off everything on my map. Or on my uh, notes. I 
Yes, Undertow Cove, once we beat the game, we can actually come back here and um, we're able to get, I believe it's the best dagger in the game you can get from here, but uh, you have to steal it from an NPC that only shows up after you've beaten the game. So we can't get it in here and that NPC will be where, in the area where the boss would be. But uh, I don't believe there's going to be any boss. Maybe there will be, but I don't believe there's going to be a boss. Now, let us hunt him. I'm not even going to waste my energy with these guys. They're a little lower level. So it's not worth it. I mean, I hope this place has a boss, uh, but I don't think it will because I came in here off camera to see if I couldn't like get the dagger to steal it from the person, but the person wasn't there. So I don't think the dagger's gonna be here either. Or not the dagger. I don't think a boss is gonna be here. Is that supposed to be like a cross between a whale and like something else? Alright. <laughs> it's like a whale with arms and legs. Out of my way. Hideous, if you ask me. Letting my arrow fly in Oh, God. Okay. I hate this place already. Oh, my God. What are these things weak against? Seriously. I wanted you to use your spear so I could check these things are weak against a spear, you dumb animal. Finally, found a weakness. Jeez. I was watching another streamer the other night who was like, oh, Haunted is awesome. She's my favorite character, and I just do not understand how you could even possibly what like Haunted. I think she's the worst character. 
second. I don't even think it's really all that close. I just think she's a terrible character. Well then, let your wounds be healed. Obviously, here she died not because of who she is, but still. Oh my god. What next? God damn it, I forgot she attacked herself. Out of my way. Letting my arrow fly in true. Using this. Well then. Also, one other thing I found that I'm, I don't really like about this game, and that is the lack of a certain item. I did some research, and as far as I could find, there is no such thing as a ribbon in this game, which I think is incredibly bad game design. Letting my arrow f holding back nothing. Victory shall be mine. My dear mother, prepare yourself. Oh, sacred light. Justice Breaker. Hmm. Question is, it's obviously better in terms of damage than Gideon's Dagger. But Gideon's Dagger has the additional ability to lower attack occasionally, but I don't know, some of the ending bosses you can't even use that on. Because uh, they, well, a lot of them have something where like they will counter attack you or they reflect physical things like that. Yeah, not fighting an elemental. My turn. They those things are never worth what you have to go through to fight them or to beat them. Magic damage just deals way too much in this game uh, for fighting those things to really be justifiable. Like 
magic damage was less or maybe if you got like better rewards for fighting them then it would be worth it obviously but Let us begin currently it's just not really worth it <laughs> the winds of fortune howl Taste of Out of my way. Maybe that was useless. <laughs> Think about it. I don't have Aper's Reckoning up yet. Oh well. thinking it was like, oh yeah, I can break these things, and then hit them all with Aber's Reckoning and take them out, and then I realized after I did it, oh yeah, I don't have enough BP for Aber's Reckoning. How about you? However, this turn, I can do that. Have a taste of this! I'll do my best. Take this. <sighs> I'm ready. Are you? Time to steal the show. And that's that. That was not necessary in any way, shape, or form, but I wanted to do it because it was an opportunity to do it. Yeah. Just as I thought, no boss here. Uh... Which is unfortunate. So. Oh, it looks like we have one more level 45 dungeon left. So we'll go do that. It's the Maw of the Ice Dragon. Where is that? Right there. It's the one we found earlier today. Okay, so we're gonna teleport up to North Reach. And I do need to heal. I think I should probably also take Haunted out the party and get somebody else in as well. Ooh. Well now, if you don't say. Occasionally poisons target. Hmm. Okay. Uh, who to bring in? Thinking Primrose. By bringing her in, I don't have to do any um, I don't have to change Ophelia's jobs.
Okay, and she has the show must go on encore. Second wind, elemental augmentation. Is there anything for encore I would prefer to have? Actually, I guess recipients might be good. Yeah. Skills performed by a single ally that usually target one foe will affect all foes instead. Now why were people saying this would be good for the secret bosses? My understanding was that you use this and then you just, um... Hmm... Yeah, I don't understand why that's considered so good for the secret bosses when they're only single target. My understanding was that you would like use something like that to turn something AoE, a single target ability AoE, and then use it on your party to give yourself like AoE um, reflect. Was my understanding of how it would work, but that says, I mean, that distinctly says foes and not anything else so I'm not sure why that's considered good um, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a short five the ten minute break I'm gonna use the restroom grab some extra more water and stretch my legs and when I come back we will head for the uh, maw of the ice dragon so I'll be back shortly <laughs> 